Okay, guys, we're going to be back in a bit with another video. And today, okay, Biki, get a baby. So today, um, um, I will be doing a vlog. Um, I'm in this entrepreneurship program. It's called um, We Love Philly. And today is my first time going out for an event that we have, or we will be going to, and we will be touring Redford. Mm. Right, no. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. So what is it? Rec Philly? We will be touring Rec Philly. And we are all out right now. Oh. Downtown. Nice and market. Um we're on our way to Chinatown because the tour don't start until seven o'clock. But it's like six twenty now. So it's like we might as well find something to do until it's time for us to go to the tour. So that's what we're doing. So but this would be a great opportunity to vlog, create content, tell you guys about things that I'm doing and let you all about my life and my journey of my entrepreneurship and basically just show y'all my growth and everything I'm doing to get to where I need to be. So before we get in this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend, and kind of my channel, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's just get into it. And it's just a life thing. Right now we're on Chinatown. We try to find something to do. I look absolutely a mess. Like my hair. It's just all over the place. Okay, period. Let me see. That's another thing. Like, <laughs> period. Okay, period, my mom. Period. Get into it. Get into the edges. Wait. Wait. If I take that, that door. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, thumbnail. Oh, you ain't taking no picture. You taking a picture? Yeah, I, I, it's. I'm here. Look, look. No. No, you want to get the arch. Yeah. Where? <laughs> <laughs> we stood in the middle of the street to take a picture and then none of it even look right. I don't even know what's wrong with us. We're crazy. Oh, we're trying to get there. Oh, well, we got to do it right here like this. I don't know because I'm not tall enough, so maybe that's not going to work. I know those thumbnails and those pictures I just took and that pose I just made was so ugly. Don't even talk about it. At this point, don't even talk about it. Um, but yeah, so we're on Chinatown and I'm trying to find the 2x noodles so that I can do the spicy noodle time. Hopefully, I find it. So, if I do, just say please. Um, it says extremely spicy on the side, so I'm hoping it's same as the 2x or close or similar. I am definitely going to do the video for it, but I got them. It's five packs in here, so we're going to try them out. Oh, I'm sorry. So, I got these. So just wait for the challenge. I'm so excited. Yeah. Um, I think they said it's inside fashion something. I'm not quite sure. But okay. See, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're just trying to find these now. This should be a really good experience. I'm really excited to find out what it is, what it's about, what do they do. How could it benefit us? How can it help us? No, it's simple things. But this place looks pretty nice. They have some nice little discounted shoes and stuff. Yeah. And they have these things. Let's write your name and stuff. Let me see. Oh, I don't got the patience. I'm, uh, uh, forget it. I don't have the patience. I don't have the patience. Nor do I have the time. I'm extremely, extremely, oh. Okay, camera. Yo, if I looked good, my hair was done, and I did my hair, my hair was cute earlier. But if it was done a little bit better, I would look like a snack right now. Literally. Dome. And then we have weirdos like this, Dome. who goes up the escalator while we're going down. <sighs> well, I'll be damned. That's a big boogle. Big boogle. Weird. We lost the Ponte. I don't know where we're at. Oh, that's journeys that everybody be talking about. Wait, let me see. Um, there we go. I oh, look. I don't like it. But I guess right now we're trying to figure out where it's at, and everybody looking at us because we're a lot of we're a big group of minorities, and people are staring at us like we're going to steal, and you know mess things up which we're not we're just young entrepreneurs trying to get to our journey you know the huge 
but so when we get there i'm gonna bring you guys back so y'all can actually see the experience i know i'm just rambling but i'm just trying to consist make content of the vlog and they're pretty bland today yes so uh it's not really too much funny something you want to say huh ty go ahead and say it wow he was supposed to do this supposed to supposedly dance for my vlog but never did it where's the dance move at ty where's the dance move at exactly you can't you can't depend you can't depend on black people it's like no that was jokes <laughs> so once it started being built because it hasn't opened yet i believe it opens in december december this is where we'll be holding our podcasting and other fun things for we love philly and today we get to have our first tour so this should be exciting they're still under construction everything isn't built yet but here we go let me say hey yeah. hey hey work it out ha 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 whoa <laughs> what's going on let me see what should come back let me let me see let me sit a little, let me sit a little swerfing. You just gonna let her kill you like that? You just gonna let her kill her? Wow. You're crazy. That's nutty. That's nutty. Wow. I didn't pick this song, bro. That's crazy. I really didn't pick this song, bro. You gonna rock the Uzi look and not kill it? No respect. I right know we're waiting for the tour to begin and I just wanted to get you give you guys a little rundown of the input that I got of Rec Philly or we Rec I don't know exactly I forget the name so I'm gonna put a little picture right here so basically um the program is started at Dolphin and I believe um around the Simple area and the two founders of this program graduated from Temple and basically they're um, providing opportunities for young entrepreneurs to hold podcasting. Um, they have conference rooms, they have spaces for like um, basically opportunities to make content, to learn, to develop and everything of that nature. So basically it's a business that they raised $3.2 million. Okay, black excellence to create a better community for the Philadelphia area. So they didn't take it out um, Dolphin now North Philadelphia because where a lot of problems that we have and struggle is in the hood. So they wouldn't take it from the hood, but they created two places. So now they have the one in North Philadelphia and they have the one downtown. And that's the one that we at and it does not open to December 1st, but I'm so excited to be a part of this experience and this journey that I can learn about all these like possible things that you can do and how you can raise money and become such a like, successful person and have your own like business storefront and everything like that like i'm just excited to learn all of these things so that's a little rundown and then the closing of this vlog will be the tour how are we feeling how are you guys feeling right now feeling pretty good good because i feel all sorts of excited and happy and proud Woo! Um, so excited to show you guys this space. Um, obviously you guys are no strangers to Rec and what we've been up to for the last few years. I'm sure most of you guys, um, especially you guys in the back, have climbed those four flights of stairs. You guys have endured sessions in the studio with or without heat or AC. So you know what it's been like uh, for our journey of you know, empowering creatives in the best way that we could. Um, for some of us, peace, peace, peace. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Um, so for those of you who may not be as familiar with REC, essentially we really are all about one thing, one thing only, and that's empowering creatives to do more of what they love. And we all know that how important it is to have a creative outlet, to follow your passion and things like that, but when we start talking to folks about doing that full time, certain things tend to get in the way, right? And what those things over the years for us always came down to be where, hey, I want to go and do this full time, but I don't have access to resources to help me do that. Right? I don't have access to the equipment that I need or studios where I'm not paying 80, 90, 100 bucks an hour to record. Or secondly, they say, hey, I wanna do this, but I don't always understand the strategies to actually build the business underneath my art 
to keep progressing, not only to build a sustainable business, but then to scale that up to really make money doing what I love. Um, or third, it's just where do I go to be around like-minded people who care just as much about the art and creating culture the way we all do so well, but also cared enough about the business to pursue it full time, right? And for us, we didn't really find any of those places, so we decided to create one. So Ooh. the last four years, we were up in Ninth and Dolphin in North Philadelphia, building out there, we built a community of over 800 folks who loved the mission of what we were doing and, and wanted to be in the space. Um, and that gave our business partner Dave and I the confidence to say, hey, we gotta do this bigger. We have to be able to accommodate our creatives in a much more impactful way. And a year and a half ago, we were given this opportunity to come down to the gallery, also known as now the Fashion District. Um, and back then it seemed like a long shot, right? And quickly and surely, it went from being a long shot to so actually our studio release. B. This is one of four recording studios that we have in our creative company. No, um, this studio is like a traditional um, recording studio that you'd see with a dedicated vocal booth right in it. Um, what's really dope is we wanted to really work with the best of the best to make sure that our sound specifically was as great as it could be. We were really ambitious with having 13, 14 private studios in one big space. Um, so we went out and we got John Smelt, who was actually the architect behind Milk Boy Studio, Larry Gold uh, Studio, and he actually coached us and, and was our lead designer on the acoustic front to make sure we got the best quality sound that we could. So you'll notice everything is doubled and tripled, uh, walled up to make sure that we can do that. Um, so studio right here, and then on the other side of our hallway is our design studio. So this is really for the messier arts, folks that are doing um, painting on canvas, whether you're uh, creating cut and sew merchandise, all that is gonna happen in this room. Um, and this will have a nice big workbench up here. So everything about designing products, but also we're gonna put a backdrop on the back wall for product photography. So to be able to have a space to create products right there, design them, but then also take photos, this is meant to set you up for success and then take your products and be able to sell them out in the retail store. That was the end of the tour. Um, I had a really good time. I learned a lot. I found out a lot. And like this is really a really, really good opportunity to like expand businesses and stuff, except especially for me. For everything that I want to do, I feel like this is a really good opportunity and investment. I'm really glad. I'm really excited. I can't wait for all the opportunities and blessings it's going to bring in with this. But that's going to be the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend and tell a friend to come on my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until Bye next now. time, see you guys.